I'm Richie Blue, they call me. That's actually a stage name. And I came up with this company called Maker Products. I just, like, especially this particular item, uh, this, this bucket on a belt, I knew that there was some utility to it that was different than what was out on the market currently. And so uh, when I started in with that whole process, and I, like I said, I was making these myself, and I knew I, I needed some help eventually but uh, the first thing I wanted to do is protect my intellectual property and so I went to this patent attorney and he worked with me to let me like make payments to him and all this and uh, he was kind of cool like that but um, it was so much money uh, and time and um, it's not for the faint of heart <laughs> like when you get into the whole thing about patents that you, you have, most people have no idea I mean it's really ex very expensive very quickly is it worth it that's the first question is it worth spending all this time and money on this thing because how do you know what if you get a patent on these things and then they don't sell you know so how do you find out if it's going to sell before you spend the money on the patent and so there was this whole process i went through with that and um it was challenging uh so that was like the first thing and then eventually i knew i needed some help because uh, I was making all this stuff myself, and I didn't want to make it myself. And the couple of people I took things to, uh, they uh, they didn't care about the quality of what they were making. They just wanted to mass produce the stuff and just get it out there. And, and, and I had one experience with one uh, guy in particular, and it turned out that like he started making these for me, and um, they all leaked. You know, and I was like, okay, well, now my reputation, like, for quality is going down the tubes because all these items that this guy is making, they're leaking. So I had to, you know, get out of that situation. So then I was back on my own again. And then I finally found another guy that turned out to be really cool. He's my partner now, Casper, owns Black Diamond Squeegee Rubber. And him and I uh, started putting our, our heads together and we formed... Uh, maker products the beauty of it is is that like there's oversight in what I do now I just don't we just don't hand this stuff to any person now they have to be uh, there has to be a certain amount of integrity and that's that's another challenge that you have to go through because for every uh, person you find that that will make any of these products for you uh, that that's worth their weight in gold you're going to run through a hundred that aren't and, and so now there's this whole process of weeding out uh, the bad apples uh, and, until, until you get to the point where you have uh, a group of people that you're networked with that are on the same page with you. And that was one of the things that Casper and I talked about when we formed the company was that we want to keep the integrity of Maker Products, the name. Uh, when people hear the name Maker, they, they immediately think quality. And so I believe we've done that up to this point, and we're going to continue to do that. But the challenge with that is things don't happen very fast. When, you're, when you think quality instead of mass production, now you're talking about things kind of go along a lot slower. But I am of the mind to think that slow and steady wins the race when it comes to some of this stuff. And uh, so that's kind of like our mindset uh, whenever we... Uh, put together products. Um, I design pretty much everything for Maker Products, and Casper has a, another set, a skill set that's uh, different than mine. So uh, together, it's this. When we get together, it's this um, synergistic relationship. Is that a good word to describe? You know, the sum total of our parts together is, is greater than individually apart. Was that too deep?